Okay, hello everyone uh, on step users. So this is a video to show the uh, STM32 board, the, the VE variant, uh, which is called the CZ Mini. And it's now doing sidereal tracking. As you can see, the light is flashing and the motor is moving slowly. You can see the motor is moving there and this is from a breadboard circuit ignore the the LV8729 driver here we're using a, a standard DRV8825 uh, I'm here in the uh, workshop of my imaginary friend Dave Dave say hi hello okay so he's not imaginary then and uh, basically you can see that the, mo the motor is moving with sidereal tracking we had a, a problem with the motor heating up and uh, now it's not heating as much it's 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 warm to the touch but not uh, terribly so we adjusted the vref uh, correctly and uh, things are uh, things are great now let me show you the the motor moving when we do a the difference in 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 the motor moving when we're doing a a go to so again this is uh, sky chart cartesiel and what i'll do is i'll uh, I'll slow to dub, dubi rather, okay, depending on how you want to pronounce it, in Arabic it would be dub, which just means bear, and there, you see that the motor is moving, and the crosshairs are moving, okay, and once it reaches the destination, then the, the green light would be flashing again, as you can see, and the motor is moving in at sidereal rate. Okay. Now, my friend Dave has a uh, an EQ5 uh, um, mount. It's against the light, so you won't be able to see it, but it's basically... Uh, it has motors already in it, 48 uh, steps for rotation and uh, once we have a controller then we can hook it up and then you can have a full uh, uh, benefits of, of on step for, uh, for at least for visual for this mount. Um, the, the other thing is that uh, um, we're also waiting on the, uh, uh, the black pill, the, the smaller uh, so I'll show you it. Okay, so this one, we managed to burn one, and uh, the other one isn't performing as well. So we're waiting for the RTC module to to have EEPROM on it so that it would work properly. But so far, the STM32 has been working uh, very well. Uh, there is only one line in uh, in code uh, in onstep. You know, to disable the something from the NVRAM, and that's just temporary while we get the RTC. The other line is something in uh, is uh, is related for uh, uh, the in the in the HAL section for the STM32. But uh, um, once we have that, we'll have STM fully working, and we'll have 72 megahertz uh, controllers uh, for like three dollars for the CPU part. Okay, so this is another uh, short video with the same setup as as the one before. Um, so basically, the difference here is that we're using the LV8729 uh, stepper driver, and instead of the DRV8825, uh, these are much smoother. Um, you can feel it. You can feel it on the on the motor when it's moving. Um, I'll show you the the go to here. And as you can see, it, it, it switched and, and used. So I'm using the LV uh, driver with uh, 1 over 32 steps. It can go down more than that, so maybe even one, 164 would be practical. One, 1 over 28 is in the specs, but it could be uh, uh, kind of too little. Um, so uh, this just demonstrates that uh, the LV works as well exactly the same pin configuration no no changes in the wires the uh, 
the SLP and the uh, RST are connected to 3 volts um, and it is smoother than the DRV8825 thanks